the long arm reach of this group. Paul, Richard. you're a Liverpool lad, but with the Liverpool fans, you call this your home. What makes it your home? Uh, well, I've kind of lived here for millions of years. Like, uh, I don't know, we spent a lot of time in this building. And now my beautiful daughter has done a film about it, so it's special. And what makes it special? What gives it the magic that everyone talks about? Um, it's a great studio. The staff, all the people who work here are fantastic engineers, and the people who record there are pretty good too. What, what was your reaction when you saw the film? Saw the film? Yeah. I loved it. But she's done a really good job. She's not just done the Beatles thing, she's done the whole story. And we're going to go and watch it. Thank you. I would agree with that, yeah. And would you say the documentary which Mary McCartney, Paul's daughter, has made uh, fairly reflects the magic of this place? Well, I haven't he seen it yet. Yeah. I haven't seen anything, so... So this really is the first time you've Ringo seen it? Ringo was my first interview. For the yeah. whole, he set the whole thing rolling for me. I don't I know did. if you know that, but thank you for that. Yeah, yeah. Do you think you'll like it? I hope so. Am I, mean, I in it? <laughs> you are. Then I, I can like tell you it. Are. <laughs> you are. And also for her, how great. Yeah. It She's is a great, great photographer. And now we'll see how she is on film. Yeah. No pressure. Yeah. <laughs> and what do you think is so special about Abbey Road Studios? They well, no, we, for us, we were just blessed that we got a record deal because of George Martin, and he was working out of here because we were refused by many record labels. And uh, George took a chance, and then we came here, and we did Love Me Do, and we went on from there. And then a little later on, we tried a couple of other studios. But the first uh, six years, say, we were here. We knew the place, we felt the place, and uh, it worked out really well. It felt like I you always came back here, though. You always ended up back here. Oh, when we yeah, yeah yeah we did no we you know we tried tried other other studios and then we'd come back. How do you, how do I, you feel when you come back? I feel great. You know it's a it's a great memory. Um, we spent a lot of time, but we made a lot of great music, and that's the deal. And poor guys got it was a blessing. Do you, you think Abbey Road Studios could be recreated anywhere in the world again? Or is there something about this place? No, no, it's the place we we came to. I mean, we well, didn't build the damn place. I mean, it's just... <laughs> no, but the like thing you is, felt when I interviewed Ringo, the bit that's not in it, you were like, oh, some of the best drum, drum sounds I've got is in my little guest house back at the... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <I was laughs> no, like, we've got a good sound here, but uh, <laughs> it was all mono, for God's sake. I mean, can you dig that? And uh, now even the mono is being turned into stereo. Because of Peter Jackson and his mm. Mal machine. And what's your favourite memory of Abbey Road? Abbey Road, leaving. <laughs> <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> Thank you very much.